you? What's happening? Um, we have got something really awesome today, providing that it actually works. Now, these cars are well known for giving you all the information that you need. Um, just to show you, just get the keys out. We've got, we've got a speedo. I ain't even got a rev counter on this one. We've got a speedo, the amount of fuel that we've got, and anything else, temperature, no gauge, just a light to say it's shut up. Just a light to say that it's too hot. So, you know, no real gauge or anything like that. Anyway, so what I've got is, I've got a cheap and easy method to get around this, which is a head up display. And it plugs into the OBD port, which should have the relevant information available to it. And then you place it on the dash and it shines in your eyes when you're driving. So let's try it. So let's see what's in the box first. We have got an OBD2 connector, which is gonna come in useful for plugging it in. Then we have a display that is backwards because obviously you're looking at the reflection of it in the well in the windscreen and then we've got something to stick it down with and for a change we've got some instruction manual uh see if it's in english or chinglish actually you can read it anyway we'll see if we need that later when it doesn't work but first let's plug it in so first we'll plug that in which goes in our OBD port, which is just above your clutch pedal. Uh, sorry for sounding a little bit blocked up today because I am dying of man flu. Not COVID, just man flu this time. All right, so we've got, a, we've got our lead and then we need to bring that up somewhere really neatly and then plug it in. Set that out. And don't know what any of that does yet, but let's plug it in. Oh, well, it's doing something. Not doing a lot, but it's doing something. Right, let's turn the car on. Yes. Well, there's no rev count or anything showing yet. Shut up. Hmm. That doesn't seem to be working yet. Wow. Now I've just left it plugged in for it to uh, do its calibration and. Yes, tell me to change gear. That is awesome. Anyway, let's stick it on the dashboard and see if it actually shows us anything. Because it's all, well, it's backwards at the moment, obviously. And it's supposed to reflect, as I've said. But look, we've got a temperature gauge. Same up at 80 degrees. We've got voltage, we've got a rev count, we've got a speedo, which is in kilometers an hour, which needs changing. I don't know how to change that. Let's go through the manual and see if we can change some stuff and make it actually so it's set up right first. Right, so a bit of messing about now because if you read this, instrument cluster has an offset value. I mean, the value displayed, blah, 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 blah. Now, I ain't got a rev count to compare it to, but these rev limit are supposedly 6,500, so I'm told. So, that's saying it's more than 6,500. So that's not right. So I need to mess with the offsets on the rev counter and some other stuff and try and get it into miles an hour and then we've got something to start from. Right, so now with a bit of dicking about, the red line, or the rev limiter, is now sending it to the right revs. There we go. So now I need to try and get it into miles an hour. Yes. Right, so now I've got my rev counter and my miles an hour, and it's in temperature in Celsius. Um, 
now that's pretty much all I want if you notice this here this is quality see that that's a light sensor so well so if it's changes to suit for how bright it is anyway now I've got them set up um, I need to ref the off I need to alter the offset for the speedo but I need to say how far it is out but for now we're in miles an hour we've got a rev counter so I'm going to stick it in place and see how good it is which leads us to the problem of where to mount it nice and subtly I'm thinking I don't want it to be in front of me um, because that is going to be quite annoying so I'm going to put it somewhere near the middle I'm thinking around there ish maybe maybe on the passenger side I haven't decided yet but I need to subtly sort of fix this wire out of the way because this, this wire I think it's about 5 foot longish so let's see what I can do with that so first I hope it doesn't lose all its settings which it probably will I am going to try and feed this wire through here so I yes, just did the arm of my head feed it through to come out on the passenger side like so so now we have a wire coming up the passenger side which I'm gonna I'm just going to cable tie it with this wire, which is for the speakers that I put in last week. Nice OEM look, like I said before. And I'm going to run this up here somehow. And then it's going to come up to here somehow. That's the plan anyway. So, that's what's next. And then nice and neatly exit in there. As you can see, it's gone... Well, around the back of there, through there. Up there. And out there put this back on and the idea is, is I'm going to put it on this airbag so when I have a crash I get an imprint of that in my passenger's forehead there we go perfect now it's somewhere near where we want it so I'll plug it back in right now it's plugged in and it'll shine on the passenger side of the screen ideally but let's see if it actually still works if it's remembered its settings or if it's fucked up Hold. yes It seems to have got all its settings. Come on. Right, so it seems to be back in business after a few seconds. So now we need to put it where we want it. Which is going to be somewhere around there because that's where the wire leads to. So we have got this little, well, rubber pad to hold it still. So I'm going to stick that on the dashboard. And that's sort of self-explanatory, isn't it? And then we are left with that. So, stick that on. And, voila. Now, it's on the screen a little bit. Not very good at the moment. Now, we've got a stick on doofer for that. But first, I need to clean the inside of the screen to stick that on. And I need to look at it from the driver's point to make sure I'm putting it in the right place because it's probably going to move around when I move around. So, let's clean the window first. So I've got a rag to uh, wipe out a window. And then we we'll use, uh, use some of this because... Well, the screen wash is pretty good. So now we have got a clean window. So I'll turn this on and I'll show you how it looks. Uh, so we can see that sort of I mean I can see it but it's double vision and it's blurry so we have got that to stick on so we'll line that up with where it is and then we'll get a better picture but I'm going to require both of my appendages to do that so I'm going to stick that on 
Um, and I'm going to make sure it's in the right place from here, which is where my head is. But that's sort of how it'll look ish so far. Right, so this is our doofer. Now, uh, before putting it on, what you want to do is you want to put a bit of water on the screen because you want to be able to move it around. And then we use a rag as a squeegee. So I'll put it somewhere right, somewhere like. And then driver's position it needs to go over a little bit. That's close enough. And then we use our rag. Yes. Well, you, yeah. And then we squeeze all the water out, which isn't going to plan. So now you've got your nice subtle doofer placed on the window. Well, and, and this phone is looking at it from pretty much where my eye line is. And we pull this bit off. And as you can see, it's stuck perfectly. What the fuck? And I can't really see anything. That's perfect. So there we have it. A perfect installation. Um, Yeah, I fucked up with the, well, with the film that goes on the window. I know it's all wavy. Um, so, if I hadn't fucked up with that, I'd probably be able to read it quite well. But as it stands, it is pretty blurry. Hopefully, some of the bubbles might work their way out of it when it gets warmed up. But for now, well, let's go and see how it works on the road, really. So, I have ordered a new film for it. So, in the meantime, I'll just put up with it like that. Now, there is a million and one settings in here to adjust the offset for the speed rate, well, for the speed and all sorts of stuff. But for now, we have got, well, 67 degrees Celsius, which you can just about make out. Uh, Liters now we're not bothered about. So we've got temperature and we've got a rev counter. That's the main two things because we didn't have them on this car. So, well, let's go and see how close the speed it is and wait for our new well I, i'm not going to wait for that coming before i drop the video so you'll you'll just see it like this but if you're looking at a future video then chances are i'll show how it looks in one of them but for now we'll just have to make do with that it doesn't look as bad in real life as it looks when i'm looking at it through the phone screen in real life i can read it quite easily it's just not as clear as it should be whereas looking at it through the phone screen it's pretty much unreadable so Let's go and try it. It's probably a little bit out there. Right, so compared to that speedo, this one is under reading a bit. So we're holding the button, and then that is for the speed reading. So I think we need to make it turned up a little bit, and then save it. So let's see what it reads now. So after a bit of messing about and setting messing with the settings on it i've got it so it's reading the same as what the speedo's reading or thereabouts now you could mess about with this forever you could get it so it's reading the same as what a gps is reading or whatever and you could have actually made that one a more accurate well make the head-up display a more accurate speedo than that is um but i say i've just made them so they're the same for now but anyway that's pretty much it we've got a rev counter we've got a temperature gauge and we've got a speedo which is all i really wanted um unfortunately we have put we have got it where well it's all wavy and a bit shit um but we've got a new one of them coming which will rectify that but for now i think that's it uh we have got well don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of crap. And check out me on Instagram, stupid what stupid videos on scores between it. I'm not sure what my phone is pointing at here because I have just got it not very well wedged. So if this bit has just been filming the um, 
the roof of the car or something, I do apologise. But I'm not shooting it again. So I'll see you next time. Well, I'm back for a quick encore. Just thought I'd come out and see how it looks at, well, at night. No, it's night time. And the answer is proper sick. So, hold on, it's gone blur. I've tried to focus and it's actually gone blurry. Right, I've focused it a bit. Um, so, yeah, it looks like that. It looks like quite bright and gaudy. Um, looks like a minor accident with a massive explosion following it. But I quite like that, actually. It's pretty good. Now, I think it is useful to have the point that you can turn it off. So, going down a dark motorway or something might be a distraction. But we'll soon find out. Anyway, that is the end now. So, see you next time. So, I did say that that was the end of the video. But it's not. Because I don't like where it is. So, I've pulled some more wire through. I'm going to try and make... Yes! Right, so I plugged it back in. I moved the mat over a little bit. But I want to make it so that it is tilting up a little bit more towards the window. Um, and I'm going to get rid of this because this, if I can get it off, is a bit shit. So I'll get a new one of them. But in the meantime, I'm just going to use it without one. So I'm going to put it so it's closer to the window so it's something like and lower down because the further forward I put it the more lower down it is so I want to put it somewhere around there so I'm going to have to make something to do that with so after pulling this wire all the way out to get more length on it because I always could do with a bit more length I've managed to get it so it actually reaches towards the middle which is more where I wanted it so now I want to put it so that the oh, point it at it I want to put it so that the unit's somewhere around there so this is now where I need to make something to mount it. Which I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do yet. So I need to shape something to make it point in the right direction so it's not shining my eyes. And this is the only thing I've got to hand but I can put it out of. So I'm going to cut something out of this really skillfully so it looks really neat. And then I'm going to stick it down. Well that idea went tits up so I've just thrown it on there like that. And it seems alright. As you can see from the driving position. Now, because I ain't got the uh, the screen thing on, it is a bit double vision, but it's clearer than with a bubbly screen thing on. And I don't think I want a screen thing there on the middle of the window. So, that's actually not bad to read. I can read that really easy. Um, so yeah, I'm quite impressed with that, to be honest with you. So I think that actually is the end of the video now. Again, just for, you know, third time but as you can see we've got degrees we've got rpm and we have got speed the liters an hour or whatever it is not interested in not accurate don't know don't even know if it works but yeah temperature gauge and a rev counter power see ya